Hi, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, and today we're going to open up the mystery bag. I did a post last week asking people if they wanted me to do a live stream or do a video, and it was kind of half half. So we're going to do a video. And the backstory on this is my wife and me were cleaning out a garage for a dear friend of ours. And she has a handicap. Uh, she lost her arm in an accident many years ago. She used to be a nurse, so that kind of ended her career. Just a lovely lady. So anyway, we cleaned her garage for her, got rid of a lot of stuff, and she had mentioned that, uh, that she had an old computer that she wanted to know if I was interested. And I said, sure, I'll take it. I went back the following week to do some more work for her, and she brought this out. And as you can see, it says Dell on it, and there is a computer in there and all kinds of other stuff too. Now I have not went through this thing thoroughly. I just kind of poked and looked at it real briefly. This has not been powered on. I don't even know if it works. This thing's been there for a long time. And so we'll see uh, what's in the bag here. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to uh, open the bag here. And you see there's all kinds of stuff in here, but let's get to the main attraction here. You guys wanna know what's in here. So it is an older, so it's a Dell Inspiron. And let's get it out of here. And it's a very heavy little laptop too, by the way. And what I'm gonna do, and there's all kinds of cat hair and all kinds of stuff in this bag, but we'll go through the contents of the bag here in a minute here. Just wanna kinda check out the computer here. So this is what it is. It's a Dell Inspiron. And it has lots of ports on it there. As you can see, and we got quite a quite an array of them there. And then on the other side has some more ports there. And you can see it's got a lot of lot of ports on it there on this side as well. Looks like there's an IR remote too on it. You know, on the front of here there's a uh, optical drive. This is the battery. Don't know if that's any good. And there's also some. Um, areas there where we can put some cards in here too like a networking card and that kind of stuff does have uh looks like it does have uh, ethernet on it too so yeah so and i'll show you the bottom of it here looks like it has uh windows xp on it and like i said i don't even know if this thing works and there's a door right there to get access to a lot of things so yeah Pretty, pretty interesting looking laptop. Let's open it up here. Yeah, look at this here. And I mean, the plastic is beautiful on this. The hinges are nice and solid. They're not brittle or anything. Doesn't look like it has a webcam on it. So that kind of gives you an idea how old it is. And then there's the keyboard on it there. Actually, the keys look pretty good. They're not really excessively worn at all. Actually, look pretty darn new. And it's a Pentium 4, and it's got Windows XP supposedly on it. So let's close this up here. Let's see what's inside the bag here, okay? So let's see. So this is a module. It's a floppy drive. Very cool. It's a nice little thing to have there. Again, it's dating itself. There's all kinds of uh, documentation in here. And it looks like this is the uh, bill of sale here. Okay. So I'll put that over here. Oh wow, look, there's another another battery in here. Wow. And there's a little button that you push on it to see. And of course, this is dead or in a doorknob. I don't even know if these batteries will even charge up. So, put that over there. What else we got in here? This thing, this thing is, is packed with stuff. <clears throat> oh wow, we got all kinds of software here. We have uh, Dell uh, drivers and applications. More applications for Dell. 
Earthlink for the internet. America Online. Look at that. This, a lot of these these aren't even a lot of these aren't even opened up yet. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And 2002 Work Suite Microsoft. Again, sealed, never been opened. Got the product key on it. All these things that I've opened, they've never been used. Maybe except for the, uh, no, I don't even think these installation discs could have been used either. Let's see what else is in here. So I think that's it on this side. Okay. So let's go open this up here. So this is a Traveler portable outlet, static with a power strip on it there, little mini power strip. It's pretty cool, just like it might have been used. And we have the important charger here. We will definitely need that to see if this thing will power up. And what else we got in here? Got some RAM module in here. That could have been something that had already been upgraded. It looks like it has been open. It could be the one that came out of it and they upgraded it. And here's some more software. This is uh, Microsoft Windows Home Edition. And it's never ever been open. Look at that. Wow. It's like a piece of history there. Very cool. And let's see, let's go on the other side here. Like I said, this thing's got all kinds of compartments in there. So let's put all this out here. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, let's see what we got here. So we have the all important Owner's manual there, very good. This is, in, this is a Dell Inspiron 4150. That's the model number of the laptop there. And this is kind of like a quick start here. It shows you how to get started. And there's all kinds of receipts here for options that she bought. I'm not gonna show you, but I'm curious what the uh, total was here, what she paid for it here. And it's got all kinds of stuff here. It's got uh, system components, all kinds of stuff here. So it looks like this computer was bought back in 7-13 of 2002. So we know it's got some age on it there. Yep, 2002. Uh, Sunday actually when it was purchased and I just want to see what the purchase price was on this because like this is a lot of personal information on here I'm not going to show you guys uh, I don't want to accidentally uh, show this here so the purchase price on this was one thousand nine hundred and seventy six dollars and three cents so that's how much this thing cost of all these accessories back in 2002. Now let's see if there's anything else in here. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else in here. Let me just double, double check one more time. There's so many compartments in here I don't want to miss anything. Yeah, so that's everything out there. It's quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff in there. So for me, I'm very curious if this thing will power up. So that's what we're going to find out. So just give me a second here. I'm going to plug it in. All right, so I got this uh, power supply plugged in. And let's see if this works. I'm very curious. Let's see if we can bring it to life here. And the cord goes there. So we plug the cord in it, and uh, I don't even know if the batteries are any, even any good on this thing. 
We'll find out. So I'm going to open this up here. Uh, there's a charge light on it, so I, that's a good thing. Let me angle this down here a little bit so you can see it here. All right, I think you can see the screen there. Well, let's hit the power button. Let's see what happens here. Hey, look at that. It's, it's powering up there. And you can tell it's got an old mechanical hard drive in it here, clicking a little bit in there. F1 and see if it'll. This thing, I'm sure the battery's all dead in it and everything. Now I know this is not a Mac, guys. I totally understand that. And sometimes uh, we get Mac things, but lately all I've been getting my hands on are PCs. And the last one of the last ones that I got that was the twin head notebook I included it in my giveaway and Logan from crazy tech reviews He has it now. I sent that to him. It's a nice old vintage laptop It has some issues with the hinges, but other than that, it's a pretty sound machine This one's newer than that well, It's booting up into XP here. That's good. I'm curious if the battery that's in it will charge up. That would be a nice. These are lithium batteries in it. And here it's booting up there. Oh, that's kind of a pretty sunset there. Let me adjust this a little bit here. It's loading up there. Well, it looks like this thing works. It's pretty cool. Looks like a pretty decent little laptop. It's just clicking away there. It's loading up. And let's see. Yeah, the track's pad responds. Now, what I was worried is if it was password protected, so we got lucky there. So there's no password on it. Now, let me see if I can scoot this in a little closer here. And it's still booting up there. And this thing's just going crazy. I'm going to have to see if we can do some updates on this thing. This thing's horribly out of date. And it's got XP on it, too. And the hard drive is just going to town here. It sounds like it's indexing. Like I said, this thing hasn't been powered on for, I think she said, 15 years. Which that'd be about right, because she got it just shortly after she got injured. I hear the fan ramping up on it a little bit. See what it tells us here. It says it's a 27.9 gigabyte drive, which probably it's really a 30. And there's 15.2 gigabytes free. And that'll give us information on that. Let's view system information here. Oops, we don't want to show, show the name there. And let's see, Dell Inspiron. It's got a Pentium R4 in it, 160 gigahertz processor, and it's got 120 gigahertz of 640 megabytes of RAM. Okay, so it seems like it works. The trackpad works, though the keys on the keyboard work. I'm curious if this thing will get on the internet. I don't even know if this has a, a Wi Fi card in it or not. Let me take a look here. Let's go back to Internet Explorer Eek. That's an old, old, uh, that's an old browser. I know it's not going to be able to connect because my network is secured. Yeah, let's take a look here. So I don't know if this has a, a network card in it. Let me uh, look at something real quick here. This has a network card in it. I actually have a network card. Hold on just a second here. So I have a wireless card. This is new old stock. 
again from one of the many state sales and yard sales we've done over the years and cleaning out garages and let's see if this thing works so let's uh, see right there that should work we'll probably to install the software on it here I'd like to be able to get on the internet here I thought that had a um, well, it does have an ethernet port on it if we can't get it working wirelessly we'll hook it to the ethernet here oh uh, let's give it a go here let's see what happens here Huh, found new hardware. Well, we got into the uh, network utility finally there. It's installing the uh, software for that card. And hopefully that will allow us to go on the internet. And I'm not a Windows guy, guys. Uh, we use them at work, but trust me, I the ease and the use of the Mac. Yep, we're going to finish it, I'm going to restart it, and we'll see if that comes up. Now it's nice that this does have a modular design where you can pop the CD drive out and put that floppy drive in there, that's very convenient. After I get this online, then I'm curious to see if that battery that's in there uh, is charging. Okay, so I wound up putting it on the Ethernet. Our browser is way out of date on this thing, so we're going to have to uh, put a much more modern web browser on this thing. But what I'm doing is I'm just going to see if it uh, connects up to anything here. Let's try it. Let's just see what happens here. It says we cannot display it. It's because we get to update our browser. But that's okay. I know that uh, we'll get it working here. I don't want to bore you to death with all the uh, stuff here. But anyway, yeah, so it looks like we're going to work. Now, I was trying to get the uh, the wireless working but I got to do an update on that too because it said it was out of date. But anyway, hey, this is pretty cool. Um, now one last thing I want to do is I'm going to unhook this and I want to see if the battery is working on this. Now I'm going to unplug it here and let's just see what happens here. Hey, look at that. I guess the battery's holding a charge. Wow. <laughs> I am shocked. All right. Very good. We'll plug this back in. Obviously that's powering back up. Boy, this this adapter does get quite warm, doesn't it? So anyway, all right guys, so I think this is a success. Uh, this is working and I am very happy about that because like I said, I was very uh, doubtful if this thing would even turn on. And it uh, looks like we're doing pretty good here. So we're gonna turn this off here, shut it down. And that's it. Okay guys, so this has been a very good garage find. And like I said, uh, this was in storage for many, many years. It was actually inside our house, so that was a good thing. And all that stuff that came with it, I cannot believe all the software, I get all the manuals and everything for it. I'm gonna play with this just for a little bit. I'm gonna try to update it, see what I can do, and uh, go from there. Anyway guys, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. Please subscribe. Click that notification bell for future updates. And we're also on MeWe and we are on Twitter. You can reach out to me on Twitter. I get a lot of activity on Twitter. I have a lot of followers on Twitter now, which is wonderful. So you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.